Hey guys, it's the Five Star Filmers here, back with another video, and today we are playing Zombie Rush. Um, if I sound different, that's because I'm just getting over a cold, so I might sound a little stuffy at times. Uh, but yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna be shooting these zombies. Oh my gosh, oh jeez. We're gonna be shooting these zombies, and that's basically it. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the premise of this game. But it's actually kind of therapeutic, to be honest, like... Because it's just like you're just doing the same action over and over again. So it's just kind of like, like peaceful and relaxing. It doesn't take too much like concentration to do it. But I'm here with Ari. Ari, um, I joined Ari today. So yeah. Um, well, considering that I'm doing the same action like over and over again, I think maybe I can like tell a couple stories from my school or different stories in general. So like literally the other day, I was eating lunch with like outside right with the people I've um, recently befriended at my new school but some kid randomly just got arrested out of nowhere like I don't even know what happened but he it was so weird like like 10 of the school security guards came and arrested him and like I was like what and the two cops came I was like girl what is going on <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I swear. Jeez, these zombies are coming at me like out of nowhere. Especially this like, Ugh, stop. No, I'm dying. Oh, oh, they're coming from all over like. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone needs to go. They all need to go. I literally started playing this game like five minutes ago and I'm already on level 60. Like, what? And Ari's only on level 10, which is weird. Like, I randomly jumped up really high. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Rip. I just died. Dang it. Dang it. And I hope you guys are liking the Big Brother series that I've created. Um, it's actually been really fun editing it some of the stuff that happens like during while I'm recording I'm like laughing out loud like it's so crazy I'm like what y'all let me tell you I don't know if some of y'all can relate to this but this year like I've gone into a new school like considering that my last or most recent vlog was like the last vlog with like Chanel and Layla so I'm in a completely different new school in a completely different area like, I'm not even close to them, like, at all. But, um, so I've gone to this new school, and it's, like, it's kind of an adjustment, to be honest. Because, like, my old school used to be so easy. Like, we barely got any homework, and it was just easier to learn. The more environment was more relaxing, and it was just, like, you know, like, I didn't really have to study for tests, and I had more time to edit after school, but, like, coming to, like, this new school, it's been, like, so much harder, like, it's so different, I'm, like, kind of, like, shook, kind of, to be honest, I'm, like, what is going on, like, everyone here loves doing homework, and then, like, they do it on their free time, like, literally, people during their lunchtime will go to the library and do their homework, like, I don't even know, oh my gosh, ah! No! I'm in this hole! <laughs> and a whole bunch of zombies are chasing me! No! Help me, Ari! Oh my gosh, what in the world is going on? Ah! No! I'm getting eaten alive! I was walking back. Oh my gosh, and now this diamond skeleton want to come after me. Like, try again, Krusty Bones. Krusty Bones revived from the dead. Nah, -uh, he... He comes from my Big Brother show. He come here and, like, attack me. I gotta get out of this hole. Oh, my gosh. That was scary. That was scary. I, like, fell in there. Ooh. 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 Yo, let me tell you. So, in one of my class, I'm in, like, video productions kind of thing. And, um, so basically what we do is we use Final Cut to edit. I mean... Consider, like since I have a YouTube channel I've kind of researched like how to edit things on my own and stuff like that so the class is a little bit easy for me like all we're doing is just like adding filters to clips and like cutting clips apart or whatever like that so I have a bunch of free time because like I finish I finish pretty fast um but anyways <laughs> um so me and my partner 
um, he, like, dressed up as a banana for one of the things. Like, we had to do one of these, like, had, like, sh- sh- these camera scenes. Oh, my gosh, zombies can jump. No. But he dressed up as a banana and, like, a gorilla pretending to talk to himself or whatever. And I was like, what is going on? And then I edited him so it looked like he got snatched by an eagle and, like, dropped. Um, I'll post it. I'll post it. I'll insert the clip right here. It's probably not HD at all because it was like really quick and done. Like I was just like, I was bored and I was like, let me just do this real quick. But it was, uh, no, I'm dying. But yeah, that was really fun. I'm just rambling on. This is kind of more of like a rambling video to be honest. Let's be like, come on. Because it's been so long since I've like been able to like kind of more talk to you guys or make like edits because like I said, this school loves giving homework and everything. Yo, let me tell you, I have to write a five to six page report. I am dying. Guys, send help, please. Like, I know some of you guys might be like five, six. That's not a lot because I know in college you got to write like 10 page papers, but I can't even fill a page up and I have to write five to six pages worth of research stuff. Like, what is this, though? Guys, cherish while you're still in, like, elementary school or, like, middle school. Because once you get to high school, it is not easy, guys. It is hard, especially if you're no longer a freshman. It's difficult. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Life advice, honestly. If I were to give one advice from, like, me who's, like, going through school is first off, like, don't even care who you're, like, friends with because, honestly, I've seen people or I've met people who, who want to be friends with, like, everyone, which isn't a bad thing, but they, they kind of, like, they're, like, all they care about is who they talk to or, or who they're friends with or like, oh yeah, I'm friends with the popular kids or I want to be friends with the cool kids or whatever like that. But honestly, you don't even need to worry about that because like honestly, 10 years from now, you're not even going to remember their names or like what they look like. Like, who was Sally? Like, who is she? Like, I don't even know. Oh, the zombie came out of nowhere. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the zombie came out of nowhere. Who are you? Who even are you? Get out of here with your crusty looking face. Try again. Oh my gosh. I swear. Ah! <laughs> A swarm of zombies came out of nowhere. <laughs> what is this? What is this? No. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They're all there. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. They found out how to escape. They found out how to escape. Oh jeez. Look at them. They're all there. That's kind of weird. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. No. Ah! No. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so right now we're at Tsunami Sushi. Like, after kind of killing the zombies, we were kind of in the mood for sushi. <laughs> so we just decided to come to Tsunami Sushi. It's really random. It has nothing related to zombies, but... Oh, Ari has a really cute kimono. I just got this, like, really plain pink and white one but she's got some really nice she got a really nice kimono so we decided we're gonna sit inside we're gonna sit in a party room because four tables is not enough i thought only like five people were gonna join to be honest but there's like eight people okay i'm gonna sit at the end of the table and ari can sit next to me hurry okay and then everyone else wow this, i think this is enough seating for everyone i think everyone has enough seats yeah actually we have more than enough we have a little bit too much but this is awesome let's see what do i want Sushi rolls. Do I want avocado roll? Arizona, Arizona, California. I don't get why people put sour cream. I'm not sour cream. Cream cheese in sushi. That's kind of an abomination towards sushi as to why you would put cream cheese on there. That's kind of weird. Um, salmon, egg, tofu, octopus, crab, eel, and a type of fish. Miso soup. Ooh, I love miso soup and I love chirashi sushi. That is so good. Ooh, that is so good. Ooh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get miso soup, California roll, and yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna get. 
Miso soup. Miso soup. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the... Oh, okay. Who wanted Jazzberry? Oh, okay. They're still doing drinks. But let's look at the bubble tea real quick. Is there bubble tea in here? Is there boba? It's probably just hidden in the smoothie. It's fine. Let's talk to the crowd, though. I'm a tuna tuna fish. Like, I love tuna maguro. Like, that's my favorite. I, I only eat that. I'll eat other stuff sometimes. But the thing is, it's like, salmon doesn't taste bad. But it's kind of too fatty for me a little bit sometimes. If I have... If the fish is too fatty, it, I don't really like it. It's kind of a weird texture. But one time I had this really good sushi where the fish literally melted into your mouth. And it was so good. Like, oh, that was so good. Have you ever, have you guys ever been to a sushi go around where they have the little conveyor belt and the sushi goes around the restaurant and you like pick whatever thing you want? Really? No. Ooh, I'm craving sushi. It's been so long since I've eaten sushi. Oh. I love the aesthetic of this restaurant, though. It's so, it's so cute. It's really cute. And so, basically, a sushi go-around is where they have, like, I already said, like, a conveyor belt around the restaurant. And they usually have these hot water dispensers where you can put powdered tea in there. Oh, I thought you could click these. Um, but it's really good. Ooh. I love it. And it's so cool, too. Like, if y'all ever been there, tell me in the comments if you've ever been to a sushi go-around. Because that place is popping. Let me just say, sumimasen. How do you feel when there's so many people helping you? Even me. Oh, I love it. Like, honestly, I love hanging out with people. And, and it's not like, I love, not just like you guys like following me. I love talking to you guys and getting to know you guys. And that's why I like doing these things. Because like, I ask you all questions and different stories and different experiences you've had. How is school going for you all? I know I asked you guys that on the group wall, and a lot of you guys were like, uh, you know, I don't really like school, which honestly, I used to like school until now. Like, I dislike going to school. It, not because, like, the people there, but just because, like, the school itself is just like, ugh, why do I even have to, like, talk to people? Like, my school has this thing where, you like, all the new kids have to meet up during lunch and, like, talk to the mentors, and, and, I guess some people can find that nice or like helping or like help helpful. I don't because I've been to so many schools. Like I've always been the new kid that I'm like, I'm already used to it. And I don't need that extra help, to be honest. It's really just a waste of my time. I'd rather really not go, but it's like a mandatory class. So I have to go like, oh my gosh, look at that. The board of directors is here. We're just over here. Why don't you join us, dude? You can sit down and join us and we can have like tea and munch. Ooh, happy early birthday. Because people ask what's your favorite class, but most of the time you don't even have a favorite class because they're all trash anyways. But it you can easily have a least favorite class. Language arts. Ooh, ooh, I hate, I hate English. I hate language arts. I'm literally an AP language and I hate it so much. It's so confusing. It's like, what in the world? Because I, it was just like, what? Like, why do I need to need this? Why do I need to write about this? Like, why does it matter? Like, literally, we're studying philosophers and, and we're writing about how if, if, um, Aristotle was successful based on Plato's version of rhetorical like what does that even mean well how am i supposed to even argument on that if i don't even know what that means like that's so crazy like every time i go in there i feel like crying because i don't understand anything and i'll ask and like oh it's just terrible it's like like one time in class i was like i rose my hand and she the teacher's like yes and i was like i am so confused about everything like i i was like i literally said that i was like i don't even know what's going on what holidays are you guys excited for? Because I know every year when school starts, the only thing I'm really excited for is Halloween to dress up. But since I've gotten older, I feel like it's more frowned upon frowned upon if I dress up, like, to be honest. But I really couldn't care anyways. Just, like, the uh, just dressing up is so fun, like, planning out your outfit. Especially since I wrote, I dressed up as, like, Rick Sanchez. It was so, yes, I was popping. Um... 
but one holiday I really love is Christmas. Ah! And because I'm no longer living in Hawaii, I'm actually going to have a white Christmas. Um, I've had a couple white Christmas because um, some places I live does snow, but, but this is like, oh, blue chemicals. Whose is that? Is that the... Let me know if anyone is causing issues. Oh, thank you. Uh, no issues right now. Wow, that was really thoughtful. Because usually people, like, if I go places, they're like, um, excuse me. Like, they, like, start kicking everybody. And I was like, um, I haven't even eaten my miso soup yet. I haven't even looked at that. Ooh, that looks good. I, my mom makes miso soup, like, almost every single day. And it's so good because, like, it's just... It kind of, like, warms your heart up. And it's, like, every time you're stressed and you just drink that. Because it's not even unhealthy either. Like, it's really healthy because it has, um, soybeans in it. And it has, um, you know, onions in it. But I, it's a little salty. It's a little, it's a little high on sodium. But it's not, like, unhealthy, like, McDonald's burgers or nothing like that. Like, oh, dang it, no! I accidentally clicked out of the thing. I didn't see the message. Rip. Okay, let's see ice cream. What do we want? I love, oh, I can't wait for Christmas. <gasps> oh, I love Christmas so much. I listen to Christmas music during the summer. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mochi. Uh, the waitress is not even here. <laughs> the waitress is not even here. Oh, wait, there she is. Thank you so much, Sneaky Arctic Fox. I love mochi. I don't eat mochi ice cream because... That's not, like, it's kind of weird, but it's not really that common in Japan. At least where, like, I lived. I mean, it might be common in other places, but whenever I go to Japan, there's not really a big high on ice cream mochi. It's mostly in America. So when you eat mochi, it's mostly, like, festive. Like, at New Year's, you eat a lot of mochi. Or sometimes you can put mochi in miso soup, and that's really good. Um, or you can just sometimes normally eat mochi, because at the supermarket, what they'll have is they'll have mochi, and they'll have this, like syrupy sweet sauce clear sauce on it and it's kind of like it's got a brown tint on it but it is so good I can gobble that up all the time mochi is just so good like it is so good um yeah most of the mochi that I eat is usually miso soup or um you can bake it on a grill and what happens is, is there's like an air pocket so it'll like rise up and it, that's really good, and I put soy sauce on it, and that's really good. But I've never really eaten mochi ice cream. It's not something that I really enjoy. I know that's going to be like, what? You don't like mochi ice cream? I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. The texture is kind of weird. I don't know. I'm kind of like rambling on. I love talking about like Japanese things because I, I like sharing like experiences in different cultures and stuff like that. I think that's so interesting. Carly is rubbing ice cream on her face. Uh it's going to get sticky. There's a shop in Japan that... Oh, yes! I've had Willy Wonka chocolate before. Okay, so I was in Japan. And they were selling Willy Wonka chocolate. It wasn't even a Willy Wonka store or nothing. It was just some, like, random store. And they were selling Willy Wonka chocolate. And let me tell you guys, that was the best chocolate I've ever had. It was so good. Like, one of them had caramel inside. And the chocolate was just so milky and so good. Ooh... I've always wanted to go to Japanese school. I've, like, always wanted to sign up for, like, an exchange program and just, like, go for there, go there for, like, a little bit. Like, I think that would be so fun. I mean, I've only been to Japanese school, like, a couple times. Like, I went during the summer for, like, a week, and that was so fun. Like, everyone was so nice. And the food, the food, y'all, Japanese school food ain't got nothing on nobody. It is so good. It's, like actually really good there's so many documentaries on japanese school food you guys should really go check them out because it is just that good like i'm like in america they serve you like here you go here's some beans and let me just throw some shredded cheese on there and there you go that's your lunch or whatever like that but in japan like when i had curry rice there um they had they like had nice soup with like toast um and that and that toast was thick it was thick toast it was like an inch thick toast and it was so good you know, shout out to Sneaky Arctic Fox for hosting us because I know hosting a party of however many people there are here isn't easy. And she, I'm pretty sure everyone got their food that they asked for. So, yeah, shout out to her. Big shout out. Thank you so much. 
Um, I think I'm going to end the video here. I had a bunch of fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough for it today. But I'll see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.